Hey, how's it going today, guys? We're here at Mummert Y Block, and what we're here to do today is give you uh, tips on how to install the head gasket correctly, and just some basic tips about cooling systems in general, or the water passages in the block. It enters the block at the front via the water pump, and then it exits the engine out the cylinder head here, which will travel into your manifold and then out your thermostat into your radiator. So the first thing you want to see is that with the cooling hole in the head and the cooling hole in the block being very close, you might uh, understand that you could have a short circuit bypass here to where the water could come in here, leave here, and leave a whole bunch of the water down here stagnant or not moving and that would cause the engine to overheat so the main thing you want to know about uh, your engine or most cooling systems is that to get a complete cooling of the engine the inner has the water has to enter here at the front and then it has to travel all the way down the block to the end of the cylinder head and it has to rise into the cylinder head and travel all the way down to the front of the cylinder head and then exit out the intake manifold to the thermostat then to the radiator and that basically gives you a horseshoe effect that's how you get a complete cooling of this bank of the engine so moving on to the head gasket when you install head gaskets this is a old OEM head gasket a lot of the Y block head gaskets had the square corner and they go to the front but let's look at it deeper and see why so when you look at the head gasket in the front you'll see it's blocked off here small hole here and then you've got some consistent oval holes for them on the bottom so blocked off small small these are oil holes water hole small now once we get to the back you'll see this is where the gasket really opens up and this is what allows the main bulk of the water flow to travel all the way down the block and then it starts rising into the cylinder head through these main passages and is able to travel down to the front and then exit at one of the front water holes in the head so that's basically the the main thing you need to know some gaskets like the Kometics will not have the, the square corner in the front some gaskets will say front and if they say front then the front goes to the front and if that means that on say this gasket the front is up and very exposed when you go to put the gasket on the other side if it's an OEM style then you will flip it like that and you'll put it on the other bank but the main importance being is that the water holes where the main concentration of flow is is at the back allowing the complete u-turn or horseshoe complete cooling uh, effect of the engine if the head gasket gets put on backwards is you'd have a big water hole open at the front you'd have your open water hole in the head gasket here but your block is solid so we get no water flow through there is no water flow coming up through the back and when you get the head gaskets on this way the engines tend to run hot and overheat so um, main thing you want to look for when you're putting your head gaskets on is sometimes the front markings real nice to read uh, a lot of times the OEM styles have the square corner in the front but if you don't have that if you don't have the words front and you don't have the square corner to go off of then what you do if you let's say you're working on another engine altogether you want to know where your water enters the block you want to know where your water leaves the engine and at that point 
you have to look and see where would your main water ports be that would allow a complete established flow through the whole circuit and you know essentially that is at the opposite ends of your inlet and outlet down here that's what allows the complete horseshoe effect is that the main water transfer from the block to the head will be at the opposite end of your inlet and your outlet so anyway hope I didn't ramble on too long um, sometimes you'll find some um, unmarked gaskets whether with the word or the corner so just having an understanding of how the cooling system works in general can be helpful so all right guys if you like the video hit like subscribe thanks for watching go to fordyblock.com